Hey, what's up? Mr. Myers is here. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about the integral test. So I have two tests that we're going to look at today. We're going to look at the integral test and the P-series test. Not in this video, but in the next video, I'll talk about P-series. In this video, I'll talk about the integral test. So what is the integral test? Well, basically, we're going to, this is another test for convergence or divergence for an infinite series. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to check the, um, the improper integral of a function that looks like our series. So we're basically going to convert our series into a function and then check the improper integral of that function as it approaches infinity. And if that integral converges, so if that improper integral converges, then the series also converges. If that improper integral diverges, then that series also diverges. So it sounds pretty easy, but let's just say the integral test is our last resort. So if we don't, if we can't use any of our other tests, this is actually the longest and most uh, cumbersome, tedious one that we use. So it just means we normally just have to do a lot more work because we have to end up doing the limit and we have to go and do the integral. We have to integrate and then find the limit. So it's a little, just, just a little bit more work, but I don't, I don't think it's that bad. It's just a little bit more tedious than the other ones. So if we can if we can use the other tests, then we are going to. If we can't figure out how to use the other tests, or it doesn't seem like other tests are going to work, then we'll use the integral test. So let me take let me show you a few examples here of using the integral test. There are a couple things that you need to know about the integral test, and that is that um, the function has to be positive, continuous, and decreasing. And if it's not those three things for x greater than or equal to one then we can't use the integral test all right so let's go ahead and <clears throat> but when i say we're going to convert it to the function just know that we're not you know the function is not equal to the series it's just we're kind of using it to test to see if it's the same all right so let me show you what we're doing here so we've got this this uh series here and i want to check to see if it's convergent or divergent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check the integral from 0 to b limit as b approaches infinity. So I'm doing the, and I'm changing this to x squared plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if this improper integral converges or diverges. And if it, whatever it does, that series is also going to do the same thing. All right. And I know that this series is decreasing. 1 over n squared plus 1 is decreasing. And this is a continuous function and it is positive. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, 1 over x squared plus 1 is the arctan of x evaluated from 0 to b. That's the limit as b approaches infinity of arctan of b minus, oops, arctan of 1. Okay. So the limit as b approaches infinity uh, of ar arc tab. What is arc tab? This is going to be, uh, think about the um, asymptotes of arctan. And arctan only goes through, <clears throat> arctan only has a, uh, actually arctan goes like this right um so arctan is going to be pi over 2 so the limit as b approaches infinity of arctan of b is pi over 2 it's got a horizontal asymptote of pi over 2 and then arctan of 1 we know is pi over 4 so this is going to be equal to pi over 4 and so since this since this uh improper integral converges since this converges the series also converges by the integral test all right let's take a look at another one all right so we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do the limit as b approaches infinity 
of uh, we're going two to infinity now, so we're going to go two to infinity of one over x ln x dx. All right, this is just a reverse chain rule, right? The derivative of ln is one over x. That's my hook. All right, so I'm going to have the limit as b approaches infinity of ln absolute value of ln x evaluated from 2 to b. And I'm going to have ln of ln of b minus ln of ln of 2. And this is just, this is going to diverge, right? This is, if we put b in there, the natural log of infinity goes to infinity, and then infinity, it's just going to keep going to infinity, so this is going to diverge. So we're going to say the series diverges by it, by it. You better watch it, because <laughs> that's how we're dealing with them. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at three more examples here. Um, these examples are going to lead into my next video. So pay attention so that you can see um, these three examples and, and how they're similar. All right, so uh, we're going to do this integral from limit as b approaches infinity from 1 to b, 1 over x, sorry, dx. Limit as b approaches infinity. And this is ln, an absolute value of x, evaluated from 1 to b. ln of b minus ln of 1. And what do we know about this one? This is going to diverge. So the series diverges by the integral test. Okay? All right. Now, notice this is 1 over n. Let's look at this next one. This is 1 over n to the 1 half. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Limit as b. Whoa. What was that about, guys? Limit as b approaches infinity. Uh, 1, to in, oops, 1 to n. 1 to b. 1 over x to the 1 half dx. All right. I'm going to put this as x to the negative 1 half. Easier to integrate that way. So limit as b approaches infinity of x to the 1 half is going to give me 2x to the 1 half evaluated from 1 to b. Limit as b approaches infinity 2 root b minus 2 root b. Reminded me of root beer. It's 2 root b. Um, Anyway, we plug that in, that diverges, right? I'm just throwing these things out here so that you guys don't fall asleep, guys. So the series diverges, divergeb, the series divergeb diverges by the integral test, all right? So notice I went from 1 over n, one over n to 1 over n to the 1 half, now I'm going to do 1 over n squared. And watch what happens. The limit as b approaches infinity, 1 to b of x to the negative 2. Right? This is 1 over x squared is what I'm using there. So then I'm going to have the limit as b approaches infinity, 1, oops, uh, x, negative x to the negative 1, evaluated from 1 to b. So I'm going to have the limit as b approaches infinity of negative 1 over b plus 1. Now what happens when I put infinity in here? This drops out to 0, and this is equal to 1. What? It converges. What? That's right. I bet you thought it was going to diverge too, huh? I know you did. You thought so. The series converges by it converges by it the integral test 
All right? Keep in mind these last three examples because they're important. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.